I think my big brother days have gone. I think I've missed the boat for Love Island. <laughs> I'm honest enough to admit that. I don't think there's a series of Love Island in me, to be quite frank. I reckon you'd win it. I'd go down swinging. <laughs> I'd go down swinging, I know that. Be a good watch, boy. Which pundit is most likely to be in a mood after their team loses on air? Mm. Oh, Rio. Oh, Rio. Oh, are they all going to be as easy as that? Post-match, when Manchester United get knocked out of the Champions League in the group stages, Rio's the one I think will be first to go to bed. He just loves his team. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Jody and Lescott, because City are winning a lot and he's not used to it. He's always walks in quite confident with his team at the moment. Who is most likely to be overdressed on a big Champions League night? I think by Crouchy, probably. I think Rio will probably run him close in terms of his, his clobber. I think a big fella might win that one. Me or Joe Cole? <laughs> no. Robbie Savage just walked in, so actually I would say he probably, every time I see him, he's got a neckerchief on or something. He's actually wearing some interesting, like, like baggy black cargo pants. You know, like when you used to go traveling and pick up, it's like, what are they called? The big baggy... The big balloon pants. Yeah, but he's wearing a pair of balloon pants. Robbie Savage. Yeah. But he just doesn't happen to get to many Champions League nights. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be the one who will come in as either overdressed or extremely underdressed, one of the two. Yeah, he'll just, he'll just wear something really outrageous and you just go, Rob, what's going on, man? We're not going to an after party here. Who's most likely to take slide digs at you on air? <laughs> I could probably see all of them. I think they'll probably all be quite... Uh polite to begin with. You know how people normally are, best behaviour. Um, Ali McCoist probably won't be. Ali will be the first. If me and Ali are in the studio together, yeah, it will be Alistair McCoist. I, I, I'm actually going to see Laura Woods, actually. I think it could, for, for no apparent reason as well, but it could be Laura Woods. We've got a bit of history there and she's been known to dig me out occasionally. Robbie Savage would be the one, actually. Yeah. yeah. If he's given a chance to get to that level. <laughs> 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 Who out of the team thinks they know the most about football? Robert, no, I'm joking. Um. <laughs> Rio, yeah. But the person who does know the most about football is Alistair. I've never met anyone with a fountain of knowledge as profound. Does a fountain's profound? I think you can get away with it. As um, lubricated <laughs> as Ali's <laughs> fountain. I think we all give a good, our, our two cents worth in. Um, no, I don't know. No, no one's overbearing, I don't think. Who do you think knows the most about football? Cool. You can say yourself. No, I can't say that, even though I'm dying to. <laughs> Modesty prevails, so I'll go for Owen Hargreaves. Yeah? Yeah. He just walked past, didn't he? That's um, why I went for him. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him at the corner of my Go on, then, He's just it. giving me a big thumbs up. Who's most likely to want a, a big night out after an away day in the Champions League? Crouchy. <laughs> me and Crouchy love a, a few beers after a game. Win or lose, have a booze. If they draw, have some more. <laughs> you, you don't get away with anything if you're with Crouchy. Like, sometimes I can, every now and again, go incognito and get in somewhere and be all right. Not with Crouchy. I like to throw myself into that <laughs> equation as well. I'll maybe go for Savage. Yeah? Oh, uh, Does it get messy with Sav? Absolutely. Although it can get messy with one or two of them, I hasten to add. But he probably just a bit tops the list. Oh, Michael Owen. Sorry. <laughs> Redo that. Yeah. Michael Owen. He's the one yeah, who, yeah. who knows. He's very good at socialising. <laughs> is, is that what around we're Around the beer. It? Around it. Well, he doesn't actually drink beer, so... Oh, okay. No. Just chat. Um, no, he drinks, but not beer. Not, what does he drink? What does what Michael Owen drink again? Rum and Coke? I've heard they all do. I've heard they all quite enjoy it. It was one of the first things I got told, actually. I like a night out. Yeah, I do I do enjoy a night out, so I'll probably be, um, I'll probably be leading the march. Is there is there a night out that you can remember getting particularly... Yeah, but I'm refusing to divulge information. That's classified. Who's most likely to end up on uh, reality TV, do you think? Crouchy. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Straight to Crouchy. Crouchy, yeah. He's at home now. He's at home. Rhea's wife... Does a lot of reality TV, so it's got to be. Re is he already on it? Surely he's already done it. Yeah, he's he's dipped a to toe, hasn't he? He said crouchy. Oh, good point. He'd be great on it as well, wouldn't he? Like endlessly entertaining. Yeah, because I listen to his podcast and the one he does with his wife. And he's, she's very funny. She's actually funnier than he is. I would love to see a reality TV show between um, Abby and Crouchy, like the two of them together. That'd be great. I'm totally ruling myself out that <laughs> equation. I think my big brother days have gone. I think I've missed the boat for Love Island. <laughs> I'm honest enough to admit that. 
I don't think there's a series of Love Island in me, to be quite frank. I reckon you'd win it. I'd go down swinging. <laughs> I'd go down swinging, I know that. Be a good watch boy. Uh, <laughs> Big Crouchy again. Who do you think's most likely to get fired live on air? You <laughs> 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 share <with> it. <laughs> yes. I'll take that one. I hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll take that one. I'm the one who would get told off, but not fired. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, that sticks with me. Me? Me? <laughs> no, that's not true. I always have full control of the production. I'm going to say Crouchy. For no other reason than he's so tall, he can be a health hazard sometimes. So maybe he's walked in and taken the lights out, or he's tripped over a wire, and he's caused the whole production to crash, and he's fired. Let's just do something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Who's most likely to end up as a football manager? Oh. Joe Cole have himself down as the football manager. He actually runs a Sunday team at the moment, so um, he's really far down the pyramid, <laughs> but um, he's trying. Have you been to see them play yet? No, I've heard all about it, though, from Coley. Every, every week he comes in, oh, my team this, my team that. Joe, I think son is, Joe Cole's done his coaching badges. I'd love to see Joe do it, you know. He loves football, and it sounds like a silly thing to say, but he really does, that there's a difference when you want to go in and coach it and be really intricate with it, or, or be a pundit and be a bit more like um, analytical in terms of what you're seeing. So yeah, I'd say Joe. Oh, a football manager. Julian. Julian. Yeah. Good knowledge of the game. Good knowledge. Mm. Aye. Worked under a good few managers, good few coaches, worked with some good players. I don't know if he's interested right now, Julian, but... Everyone else has said um, Joe Cole because he runs a Sunday team. Aye. <laughs> Have you seen me with Joe in that Sunday team? <laughs> Come on. I. I think we Joe, to be fair to him, he's reached his managerial peak here, <laughs> to be brutally honest. That's why I'm going for Julian. I'm happy with that. Okay, I man. think a big man should good experience. Yeah.